Outdated controller firmware can lead to input lag, connection drops, and missed features. Yet, many PS5 users either skip the update prompt or never see it at all. In this video, I will show you exactly how to update your PS5 DualSense controller, both automatically and manually, and what to do when the update doesn't appear. When you turn on your PS5, you might get a message asking you to update your controller. This is a normal prompt that appears when a new firmware update is available. All you need to do is connect your controller using a USB-C cable and press the PlayStation button when it asks you to. If you clicked Remind Me Later by mistake or close the prompt, don't worry, it usually pops back up again after about 24 hours when you start your console. If you didn't get the prompt or want to check manually, there's a way to do that too. Go to the PS5 settings, then scroll down to Accessories. Inside Accessories, go to Controller General, and you'll see an option for DualSense Wireless Controller Device Software. If there's a new update available, you'll see an option to install it right there. Just follow the instructions on the screen, and your controller will update. If the update still doesn't show up, there's a trick to force the prompt manually. First, you'll need to disconnect your PS5 from the internet. Go to Settings, then Network, then Settings again, and turn off Connect to the Internet. After that, go to System, then Date and Time, and choose Set Manually. Change the date by one day ahead. Now go back to Settings and open Accessories. Go into Bluetooth Accessories, find your controller listed there, and delete it. Make sure you delete it, not just disconnect. Then completely power off your PS5 by holding the power button until you hear the second beep. Once it's fully turned off, grab a USB-C cable and connect your controller to the console. Now turn your PS5 back on using the power button on the console, not the controller. When it starts up, press the PlayStation button on the controller, and the update prompt should now appear. If that still doesn't work, you can try resetting the controller itself. First, make sure your PS5 is turned off. Then, look at the back of your DualSense controller. You'll find a small hole near the Sony logo. Use a pin or paper clip to press and hold that reset button for about 5 seconds. After that, connect your controller again using the USB-C cable and press the PlayStation button to repair it with the console. You can also update your controller using a PC. Go to the official PlayStation website and download the Firmware Updater for DualSense Wireless Controller. Once you've installed it, run the application and plug in your controller using a USB-C data cable. Follow the instructions on the screen, and the update will be installed on your controller. If you're still having trouble, here are a few things to check. Make sure your controller has enough battery charge, because a low battery can stop the update from working. Also, not all USB-C cables are the same. Some only charge but don't transfer data. Make sure you're using a proper data cable. Try switching USB ports on your PS5 or your PC if the update doesn't start. And if you're using a PC, close any apps like Steam or DS for Windows, as they can sometimes interfere with the connection. That's it for this video on how to update your PS5 DualSense controller firmware. I hope this step-by-step -step guide helped you get your controller up to date and working smoothly. If you found this video helpful, Please give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe for more simple tech tutorials like this. Got any questions or did one of these methods work for you? Let me know in the comments below, I'd love to hear how it went. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.